Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and over the past week or two, I've been taking a look at the Osmo Math Wizard series. I've already done a review on the Osmo Genius Kit, the Genius and Creator Kit, so I was familiar with Osmo when I started this review, and uh, this is just slightly different though. You still need to use the Osmo Base Unit for iPad or Fire Tablet. Osmo only works with those two types of tablets, so be sure to take a look at the specifications before you choose Osmo. To set up the Osmo base unit, all you have to do is pop that little mirror on top of your forward-facing camera, put it in the stand, and you're ready to use it. So the first game I took a look at was the Osmo Magical Workshop. And the Osmo Magical Workshop will teach addition, subtraction, word problems, and counting and place value. So the entire concept behind Osmo Math Wizard is that you are in charge of a little virtual world. And with every math series set that you add, every game you add, you get to add on to that virtual world. So you will need to download the Osmo app in on your iPad or your Fire tablet. And once you do, you open up the app and you can add, use those postcards to add your world. So you will add the world and it will indicate that there are places to put your portals. Um, so you just tap on the screen, you'll see it's very easy. And once you do, then you can access all of the games. Osmo Math Wizard uses both the board game that's within the box as well as the iPad or the Fire Tablet to play the games. So as you can see here I have magical potions open and you basically just use these little cubes to count the different amount of ingredients that you need and then once you have the ingredients then you can make different stars. So with every game that you play in the Math Wizard series, your child collects stars. And that's one of the things I think that keeps them really engaged is this constant collecting of different stars. This is just a look at a, a game within the arcade. So there's an arcade that you can tap on and as you collect stars, you can purchase new games or games will unlock. The next game I took a look at was Amazing Airships. Now just keep in mind that there are so many different mini games within these games and there's a lot to look at so I'm just kind of giving you the highlight reel. Amazing Airships uses balloons. You have airships that need to obviously launch into the air and you need to use your cubes on the board to decide the way you're going to inflate the balloons to get the balloons to take off. Um, and there's different games. That's just a, a very like brief overview. But as you can see here, this is all of the games that I have added within the Math Wizard series. So you can play anything that you'd like to within these. And some of them you can use the board games with and some of them you don't need the board games. When you unpack the box of Enchanted World games, one of the games in the Math Wizard series, there are two board games you can play with that. In Enchanted World games, you use different mixes of fruits and vegetables and different equations to boost your teammates to perform better. And there are pieces that you use with different fruits and vegetables and different numbers in both boxes within Enchanted World games. In the juice bar game you get to make smoothies and in this game you just stack different combinations of the cubes to create equations as indicated on the screen or as prompted on the screen. There's also Osmo Math Wizard Secrets of the Dragons. So in Secrets of the Dragons you actually use the included rulers, there's two rulers, and you can measure the dragons and feed the dragons when you measure them. So you're estimating length and you're using all these different math concepts that teach you how to properly use a ruler. And you can keep track of all of the dragons that you find within your guidebook. Because it's your child's own virtual world and it's set up on the iPad, they will keep coming back again and again. It's definitely a very engaging game and it's when you're playing it, I mean obviously I'm not in the age 6 to 8 demographic, but it does keep you interested in what you're doing all the time. And it's actually so fun. A lot of these games are so fun that you probably wouldn't even realize that you're learning. I think that this is something that your kids would just want to play with anyway because it's a lot of fun whether or not they're learning math concepts.
Your child will also earn those stars that I mentioned before so that they can use them to purchase different things. And one of the things that I found we kept going back to over and over again was the virtual pets. So we adopted a virtual cat and we would go back every day and pet it and feed it and play with it until its hearts were fully loaded. And then you can use your stars to continue to play with your pet or to buy your pet new toys. And it's just one a more way that your child will become engaged in the game and then want to come back and learn new math concepts and use those math concepts to you know play with their pet or play more games. One of the things that I really love about Osmo is if you have a child who struggles with math and they find math overwhelming in a classroom setting, this is a great way to take math and make it not so scary. It's all in a format that your child will easily recognize, so board games and iPad games or Fire Tablet games. And it just simplifies everything so that even if there's a concept that they don't quite get, they can just keep trying until they do and it'll click. So while I don't have a child that is specifically within this age group, I also think that this is definitely a great way to teach them at that age. I remember my own kids did struggle with math in grade one and some of the new concepts and memorizing addition and multiplication tables and everything and this kind of game doesn't do it that way they teach you in a completely different way and after kids consistently play with osmo math wizards for a period of time i really do think that their skills that they're going to learn will apply back into the classroom and help them with math Here's a quick look at what the virtual world looks like on my iPad screen. And as you can see here, these are all the portals for all of the Math Wizard games that I added. There are actually five Math Wizard games and I tested out four. So I added all of the games and the mini games to the screen and anytime that you want to play them, you just move your finger onto the iPad obviously, tap and it will open them up. And you can have the board game open in front of you and it will ask you for the board game, but you can also play some mini games on their own. And when you're not using your Math Wizard games, they just stack up really neatly within their own boxes, just like books would. So as you can see, they do look like books when they're stacked on their side. So you could easily put them on a bookshelf and you can keep them ready for whenever your child wants to play the game. I think the Osmo Math Wizard series is a great series of games for any child that's struggling with math in grade one or two. You can see my full written review of Osmo Math Wizard and the Osmo Base Station on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thank you for watching. Okay.